Hi, and welcome. I'm Megan from Not an Autism Mom. Did you know that the new Poloco app has unlimited sharing? That means that you can add as many people as you want to your child's AAC team. Team members will be able to use Poloco on their own iPads with your child's specific vocabulary for free. We'll explore the potential implications this feature has for inclusion during this summer's unprofessional development workshops. You can find the link to register in my bio. This video will show you step-by-step -step how to add team members and what it will look like to the people you invite to join the team. Your child's Proloco vocabulary can be shared with anyone who has access to an iPad with an iOS of 15.0 or higher. Let's get started. First, we'll look at the steps that you, the administrator of the account, will need to complete. From your child's iPad, click the Edit button in the bottom right corner. Click on the Settings gear in the top right corner, and then on Teams and Roles from the pop-up menu. The first time you add team members, you'll see this screen. Click the button that says Expand Your Team. You'll need to log in using your AssistiveWare account, and it will ask you to create a PIN. After you complete these steps the first time, you will only need to use your PIN to make adjustments in the settings. On the next screen, you'll choose a role for the new team member. The default role is Viewer. An editor is someone who can edit and personalize your child's vocabulary. Someone like a trusted teacher or therapist might be assigned an editor role. In my opinion, parents should remain in control of your child's vocabulary and only give editing access to people who you are in constant contact with. I recommend setting up a plan ahead of time with anyone who has the ability to edit your child's vocabulary. As children get older, they should have as much control over their vocabulary as possible, and editors should ask permission before adding or altering the vocabulary. When you invite someone to join the team, all you need is their email address. While the app only works with an iPad, you do not need the person's Apple ID email address. You'll see why when we look at it from the team member's perspective. This is important to note. Once you invite team members, you'll see their status in the settings menu under Teams and Roles. As the administrator, you always have the power to remove team members, revoke their invitation, and edit their role on the team. Now that you've sent the invitation, let's go over how the process works from the team member's perspective. Your team member will receive an email from AssistiveWare. The subject line will read, Invitation to install Proloquo. Most people will not have an AssistiveWare account, so they will click on Create an Account to Accept. If the person already has an account, they will click on Log in to Accept. This step does not have to be done on an iPad, which is why you don't need your team member's Apple ID login email address. This step can be done from any device or computer because it's basically creating an account on the AssistiveWare server. After they create an account, a screen will pop up letting them know what to do next, which is to download the Proloco app on their iPad with an iOS of 15.0 or higher. Once the app is downloaded, the team member will open it up and click Log In. After they log in, they'll select their relationship to the AAC user, or they can choose I'd rather not say. Finally, they can take a short guided tour or skip the tour and start exploring Proloquo on their own. Now your team member has access to your child's personalized vocabulary. As I click on the People folder, then Family, you'll see that this child already has their vocabulary customized with their own family members. To learn more about the new Proloquo and how to harness the unlimited sharing feature to enhance inclusion for your child or class, Join one of my unprofessional development workshops. You can find the link in my bio. Happy communicating.